Hi, I'm Mitchell Levy, global credibility expert, and we've got a meaty, meaty, meaty question for uh, uh, for this particular. So we'll do one question. Uh, so for this episode, so by the way, uh, tune in, uh, subscribe, uh, hit like if you like the channel, uh, share with your friends, and uh, and we will focus on as many answers to questions as we got in terms of credibility. So here's one that came in from Karen. Can you explain how someone can boost credibility? I thought it takes time. When people learn they can trust, wait, when people learn they can trust what you tell them, you become credible. How would you shorten that? All right, so, God, there's so many questions in that single question. <laughs> so, so, first question, how can somebody boost credibility? Well, first, we need to define what the word credibility is. Um, take a look at the the book, Credibility Nation. Take a look at the URL, uh, mitchelllevy.com slash credibility. It actually details the three pillars and 10 components associated with credibility. Trust is clearly one of them. Um, and there are nine other components worth looking at. And so how can someone boost credibility. Well, let's start with that one. And you go on to say, I thought it takes time. Yes. So you can't one day not be credible and the next day be credible. Although there are some ways around that. Uh, for instance, if somebody who you absolutely love, you know, like, and trust them, and you don't know, you don't know this third party, but you just meet the third party. And then that person who you know, like, and trust then says and vouches for this other person, by the way, I know, like, and trust this person and I would trust them implicitly. Well, guess what? That is a boost that happened almost overnight. So the clearly you can boost somebody's credibility, but you can't do it artificially. So if the question, I, I'm trying to uh, ascertain the nature of the question, you can't artificially say, voila, you're credible. Um, you can do things to drive awareness. You could drive, do things to get people known. The, the component of credibility overall is under the known category. It's do they have a desire to serve others? Um, do they have the right intent and commitment to do the right thing and do they have integrity um, on the likable part is do they share their stage and do they treat others with respect and on trustworthy are they vulnerable have integrity authenticity and are they coachable and those are the 10 components and so the ability to actually allow somebody to make a statement and trust them that either happens over time as you watch somebody do that. You sometimes can do that where if the person puts up video testimonials on their website, and these are video testimonials from credible people that you may know, if the credible people are saying those things, then that's something that's valuable. Now, what if those are people you don't know, but they look like credible people? Well, that adds value now. Then what often happens, and how do you boost somebody's credibility? The best way I could say that is I might say an easy way to boost credibility is to eliminate the cred crud. Okay, so what's cred crud? Uh, you can look at credcrud.com and get the definition of that. Cred crud are those little things you do to hurt your credibility. A little bit of cred crud won't necessarily hurt you, just like a little bit of plaque on your teeth may not necessarily give you a cavity. But the more plaque you have on your teeth, the better chance of a cavity. The more cred crud you have in how you present yourself asynchronously, the better chance you have of not being credible. So, um, Karen, lots of people present themselves really good in face-to-face. -face. And when you meet them, you may actually get to trust them with that interaction. And for some people that gut feel could be enough, but let's say you're, you've, you're don't feel that way. Then what happens over time and you want to see consistency, but before you get the opportunity 
to talk with somebody or, or most of the time, if you're looking well, before you may talk to them, you're going to research them online. And if online, they do a series of things that I define as cred crud. Uh, my classic is the, the copyright at the bottom of the page doesn't, doesn't, uh, isn't done properly. Or is a couple, I, I met somebody today, it was 2015. It's currently 2021, right? And that's, that didn't make me feel good. A bunch of spelling mistakes, um, incorrect things, bad font sizes. I mean, there are many things that people can do in a asynchronous, or let's say they don't have a web presence at all, or they have a really crappy web presence, or they have something that's 10 years old. So one of the ways you can absolutely instantaneously boost your credibility, if it's bad because of cred crud, get rid of the cred crud. Uh, we're not talking about doing anything that makes you look different than you are, but most people, 80% of the people I interviewed of the 500 did not meet their online presence came nothing close. They had a shitty online presence compared to how they were when they talked one-on-one. So let's see, we answer your question. How can someone boost your credibility? A, get rid of credit card. B, do the types of things that allow people to, to actually get to know you better. There are many people on websites that don't have video testimonials, don't have uh, oral testimonials, don't have the types of things that all they're trying to do is sell you. When somebody comes across as salesy, they don't appear credible. So once again, cred crud, eliminating the credit crud, adding the things that add credibility, that add to the ability for you to know, like, and trust them. Telling personal stories, know, like, and trust. Um, it takes time, yes, when people learn they can trust you. Uh, how can you shorten that? Oh, I think I've done a good job. Let me see what I missed. You shorten it by getting rid of cred crud. You lengthen it by um, increasing the amount of cred dust that both you share on others and other people share on you. Cred dust are, is that magic that happens, that sparkle that happens when you share somebody else's credibility because everyone wins. Uh, the person you're sharing, they get recognized. Your audience benefits by the incremental information and you benefit by being perceived as somebody who cares enough about the industry to see what happens overall to be able to be of service to others. So for those people who start sharing and spreading cred dust on you, those sort of elements will allow you to be perceived by those people who are looking at you as more credible. So whether or not that's generically on social media, whether or not that social media also then exists, or you've you've taken, you know, if you have great testimonials on your LinkedIn profile, taking a snapshot or including those in your website is a way to boost your credibility. So there's nothing you can do artificially, if that's the nature of your question, to boost your credibility. The best thing you could do is a, have people sprinkle cred dust on you. B, eliminate your cred crud. And C, make sure that you're transparently open, that you come with your heart so people get to see you. So they can see that your desire is to serve others and that you will live up to your expectation. You have the integrity, the commitment to do the right thing. Hopefully you find that useful. Um, please, guys, ask more questions. Let me know what you think. We'll look forward to seeing you at the next episode of Dear Credit Expert. Thanks. Take care. Bye now.